Why do you keep avoiding strength training? It's something that a lot of people do and can actually be the game changer in your performance and, and in your health, in your risk of injury, all those things. So we teach people how to become body smart. My name is Dr. Cameron Garber, and this is what we do for people. We, we have our Becoming Body Smart course where we take people through um, this program where we give them the training and all the things that they need um, to be successful and stay healthy forever. Honestly, one of our mantras is never stop running. We want you to be able to stop, keep running and keep moving and doing the things you love to do for the rest of your life. So one of the things people avoid the very most is strength training. So let's bust a few myths that will hopefully help you get back to strength training and do a little bit more of it, put that in your mix. So one of the things that people say is it'll make me slower or sore. Honestly, that's not true. Only if you lift in a way that you know fully breaks that muscle down will you find that soreness. And so early on when you first get started, you may find a little bit more soreness, but once you get into it, it actually is one of the best ways to loosen your muscles, to feel less tight and less restricted is by um, doing the right types of strength training exercises. And so that's one of the things we teach people in our Becoming Body Smart course is how to lift in a way that avoids soreness and that won't slow you down, but will actually speed you up as a runner and help you um, improve your performance. Um, the number two, and we hear this all the time, especially from some of our um, female clients, they don't want to bulk up. And honestly, it won't unless you try to bulk up. And, and so the way you lift really makes a difference in whether or not you bulk up. So the, the way we program that into people's routines um, does not uh, include the strength training methods that bulk you up. So as long as you don't increase your calories a ton, and as long as you don't lift in a way that bulks you up, you won't bulk up. Um, and, and honestly, it's really hard to bulk up. I tried for years and years of my life and uh, did, was not very successful at that. So I got a lot stronger, but didn't necessarily bulk up because I didn't do those things maybe that led to that. And then some of that's just genetics too. Um, but don't be afraid of that. That really is not a reason to avoid it. And you can, you can get a lot healthier, faster, stronger, and avoid injury by doing the strength training. So body weight is enough. That is a big myth. We need to load up the bar. We need to load up the weights and have a little bit more resistance to our training so that we can build up the capacity that we need to bear the types of loads that we put on our body through the activities that we do. So whether that's you know running, cycling, hiking, or rolling around on the, the ground with the kids, um, all of that requires a certain amount of load. And the only way to really get that load to grow is to put more load on our body than it can currently handle. And so we have to add the weight. Um, the body weight can help uh, be helpful right away as you're first starting out, but eventually we're gonna need to load up with more than just body weight. And, and you've gotta push your body beyond what it can currently do. And so it's okay to do in, in a pinch, you know, on vacation or things like that. It's still good for your body, but it's not gonna create the type of change you need to really um, avoid injury and be as resilient as you wanna be. Okay, this is the biggest myth and the most difficult, most controversial, because I feel that in my own life all the time, that I just don't have enough time to get it in. And truth be told, um, and this is true in my life, is usually when I miss out on my strength training, it's because I didn't make the time. It's not that I didn't have the time. Um, I didn't create opportunities uh, for that time to happen. And, and so then I ran out of time and I didn't have enough time. And truth be told, honestly, strength training is, is maybe more important than some of your cardio exercises or your runs or things like that, um, your, your cycling sessions. If you can get in a strength training session, it may be more important than getting in one more run. Um, oftentimes you're gonna get more bang for your buck in terms of actual improvement and health and things like that than, than putting more time or more miles um, in. And so as far as bang for your buck goes, strength training is one of the biggest things that we can do to help us out um, for building endurance, for building strength, avoiding injury, and you're going to be able to be more consistent so you don't have the, that time off that injury creates. So you're actually going to create more time for the things that you love to do by adding strength training. So maybe swap out a run or two in the week to be able to do the strength training and you're going to find you're more successful overall. Um, so those are some of the myths that we see that hold people back from doing the strength training. So we teach that kind of stuff in that course. Um, the Becoming Body Smart program is what we want to use to help people 
live life on their terms and learn about their body and what they can do to lead, lead, lead that healthy, active lifestyle. So if you have any questions about strength training, we would love to answer those for you. Drop a comment down below um, as to why you may not be strength training and any questions you might have about these myths.